All right, very important. The Wall Street Journal editorial reads today, the global war on the Jews, anti-Semitism surges even in the West, which shows why Israel must continue to exist. Also in the journal today, my friend Walter Russell Mead writes, anti-Semitism poisons America. Attacks on Jews are also attacks on our ideals of liberalism and pluralism. This anti-Semitism story that's running rampant around our campuses has gotten completely out of hand, and it is a key story. Joining us now is uh, former Ambassador David Friedman. Uh, he was the American ambassador to Israel during the Trump administration. David, welcome back to the show. Um, I don't think any of us have seen anything like this in terms of anti-Semitism in our lifetime. Now, maybe that's too general, and maybe some people go all the way back to World War II. But the reality is... Uh, this is an awful, general, uh, awful thing that's happening, and I'm concerned that the leadership doesn't exist right now in Washington to stop it from happening, David Friedman. What do you think about this? Please weigh in for us. Well, thanks, Larry, for having me. Look, uh, Christopher Wray, uh, head of the FBI, testified today that anti-Semitism in America was at historic levels. Now, for, for Jews to have anti-Semitism at historic levels... That's saying something, right? It's it's really, really bad. And I, listen, I think this is, you know, kind of the core of the problem. When I was in the administration, I dealt with this issue as well. And I was, you know, yelling from the rooftops that we have to watch anti-Semitism on the left. You know, and everybody said, what are you talking about? Anti-Semitism is always on the right. It's the Nazis. It's the neo-Nazis. And of course, I'm not making excuses for them. They're horrible, vile, pe vile people. But you know who they are, right? That you know who they are. They don't have a lot of money, they don't have a lot of funding, and they don't, they're not making policy arguments, they're just spewing hatred, so they're easy to identify. Anti-Semitism on the left is much, much more dangerous. They've got a lot of money behind them, they hide behind this anti-Israel rhetoric, and, um, and they're, they're deeply uh, entrenched within academia. So, you know, all the future leaders of our country are learning to hate Israel and to hate Jews. You know, at the same time, you can't get tenure at an American university if you're pro-Israel. I mean, th there is an absolute consensus among uh, professors uh, in academia that Israel's always to blame. You know, all these uh, snowflakes at these uh, universities that are arguing for safe spaces and let's not trigger anybody, they're not having any problems triggering Jews right now. They're running around campuses. You know, uh, triggering is a, is a mild word. They're coming out and saying that, you know, that, that Jews should be thrown off campus or worse. Cornell, there are people threatening to kill them. And uh, I have to tell you, there's been, um, there are many, many, many Palestinians right now who have entrenched themselves in American universities. I, I can tell you at Columbia, where I went to school, the number of grad students, the number of teaching assistants who are, you know, deeply uh, uh, on the Palestinian side is growing and growing. And, you know, I got to tell you, I doubt when they applied for their student visas that they that they disclosed the fact that they support Hamas. Oh, no, I'm really sure that's that. right. Uh, David, hang on one second. I want to play a quick quote from our friend Jared Kushner, uh, also a key assistant to President Trump in the Abraham Accords. Here's Jared. Hang on a second. One of the ironies is that uh, as an American Jew, you're safer in Saudi Arabia right now than you are on a college campus like Columbia University. So, Jared, uh, those, are tough, those are tough words, but my suspicion is he's right. The thing that's amazing to me is, uh, David Friedman, it's the rich schools. It's the elite, elite schools. It's the Ivy League schools. We went to them. Um, it's UCAL, Berkeley. There's uh, one out there. Hold on a second. No, I'm going to leave that for Senator Blackburn later in the show. But it's the elite schools, the wealthy schools, the schools with the biggest endowments seem to have the weakest leadership and the most crazy faculty and kids. Why is this? What is wrong? It's a sickness. I think this is, um, a lot of this is where their funding comes from. I think a lot of this is their, um, there's this inherent bias. Look, I went to Columbia. I went there in the 1970s. Um, we were having these debates in the 1970s. But here's what's different. In the 1970s, we would have robust debates about Israel. I found the debates offensive uh, ideologically, mm. but I never felt threatened. Mm. You know, I never felt anybody was going to hold off and punch me. And that's what's different today. This has gotten out of hand. And, you know, the, in my, the inmates are literally running the asylum. Yeah, you know, in this Wall Street Journal editorial today, uh, the Anti-Defamation League reports last week 
a 388% increase in anti-Semitic incidents from October 7th to 23rd compared with the same period a year ago. 312 incidents the ADL recorded, including a car carrying individuals with Palestinian flags allegedly swerving toward a Jewish family and several alleged assaults by pro-Palestinian uh, protesters. David, also making a bad story worse, this is a global phenomenon. The Wall Street Journal cites Germany, and you know, we've had discussions uh, of course, what happened, um, stormtroopers in the Russian airport, I guess it was, going after Jews. But we've had discussions down through the years. European businesses seem to have this idea, unspoken perhaps, that they don't want to do business with the state of Israel. Even though Israel is a prosperous economy, even though Israel uh, basically under Netanyahu has been a capitalist economy, a high-tech economy, it's going to be a natural gas economy, God willing. You know what I mean? This has not been right this second. This has been moving in the wrong direction for years. It has been. And, and look, here at home, uh, Larry, you know, this past year, the Biden administration, to much fanfare, came out with this anti-Semitism report. And uh, a lot of people, including a lot of Jewish people, were, were clapping and applauding. But they left out one thing. They left out any program to combat anti-Semitism in the form of anti-Zionism on college campuses. Mm. They didn't address that at all, mm. right? Because those are, those are a lot of their, that's a lot of their base. Yes, sir. And that's where we're seeing the real risk right now. That's where the danger lies. What's going to happen is the tax-free status of these, college, these fancy colleges and universities and the tax-free status of their endowment is going to go down the drain, among other things. Now, that may be just a small piece, but people are getting fed up with this. Anyway, Ambassador David Friedman, as always, sir, thanks for helping us out.